guys, how's it going? This is Sunny from Hashtag, and today I'm bringing you a review of the first flight ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and N500. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, guys, I'm not gonna miss out on reporting any of the features. So, without any further ado, getting into it. First of all, there is the user interface. Now, for some reason, it does seem a little sharper. The display seems a little sharper from the first generation of the ROM. So, if you had that problem, that is no longer present. And the display just looks much nicer. The camera I have chosen is the S4s, but you can choose the S6s or the Note 4s as well. Now, the notification panel blends in with the Note 17 a little bit better. And without saying anything more, let me tell you, the battery life is awesome. You can get around 3 hours of screen on time. That's the most I can get on any ROM. And especially a TouchWiz ROM. Now, one new thing is, this ROM runs on Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Yay, JK. Nope, it does not. It's actually just a fake Easter egg. But the developer has done a good job, so you can pull this off and just fool your friends. But <clears throat> yeah, but the theme is the Grace UX from the Note 7 and I do applaud the developer because it looks spot on. Spot on. It can't get closer than this. And as you can see, it is really smooth navigating through the apps and all apps are themed. And also, you have the people edge, apps edge, and your usual array of features that you get with a note ROM. And this time, the complaint I had before has been fixed. He actually watched my video, I guess, and now he has included, the developer has included air command. Because it was kind of weird having no air command on a note ROM, but now you do. And getting the obvious out of the way, you of course get the theme store on this ROM, it does work perfectly fine with this ROM and of course you get all the themes that you get on the Note 7 and as you can see you have your pages of apps they are all themed and they actually do look really nice and the music app is actually the same one from the Note 7 so that is really good now opening a few apps as you can see they are perfectly spot on they are themed like the Note 7 like a bounce and the speed of this ROM is the best by far on any TouchWiz ROM and the notification panel and the recent panel animations are real smooth. So tell me if you want me to do a speed test of this versus the Ally95 ROM. But yeah this ROM is much better than the Ally95 ROM and if you want a TouchWiz ROM with especially the Grace UX from the Note 7, go with this ROM there is no question, there is no argument this is the best ROM for the S4. But yeah that's all I have to say. So guys, that was the first flight ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4 and N500 variant. And I have to say, this is, no question, the best ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S4. But yeah guys, that's been it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace and high five.